Welcome to the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship. From go-karts to Formula cars, the speed demons of the future are taking their first real steps towards a dream career at the pinnacle of motorsports. With super license points on the line and plenty of friendly competition, the only FIA certified driver development championship in the region is gearing up for an incredible start. Welcome to the Sepang International Circuit in Malaysia for this brand new championship, Formula 4 Southeast Asia. I'm Daniel Woodruff. And I'm Renai Matu. And over the next coming weeks, we'll get to know the ins and outs of this new competition. New faces, new formats, a sweet new ride. Plenty of race car action. Let's jump right in. The FIA Formula 4 Global Championship format has officially arrived in Southeast Asia. One of 12 Formula 4 championships run globally, this one is unique in that it is a single operated championship run by the Meritus GP team. With a single make of car, the FIA F4 homologated race cars. It's the step on the ladder to Formula 1, marking that all-important transition from go-karting to single-seater Formula racing. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, it's taken three years to get here, but very intense work over the last six months. But it's been fantastic experience for everybody involved to work with the FIA and work with all the ASNs in the region. And the benefit is now that all the young drivers in Asia have this fantastic FIA championship on their doorstep. It's the ladder to Formula One. It's a, a direct entry point. What does it mean to a young driver to be able to pick up a super license point? What FIA are trying to do is simplify the, the, the route to F1 for all, or, or the route to a professional career in the motorsport for all young drivers. At the moment, it's very confusing because you've got Formula 4, Formula Honda, Formula this, Formula that, Formula Mazda, but now the FIA is saying it's F4, F3, F2, and F1. And along the way, you know, the winners, the top 10 in each championship earn FIA super license points. So that when you get ready for F1, when you have the money, when you have the talent, in four or five years after you start, you have collected all the FIA super license points that allows you to get an F1 license. The main unique thing is that for Asian families, it's cost effective. You can go to England, Germany and Italy and pay 300,000 euro to do F4, or you can stay in Asia and do a 30 race championship for 100,000 euro. In fact, F4 Asia is cheaper than karting. So here we are, the first race just around the corner. What can we expect at home? What are we going to see from the season? And especially what are we going to see in the first race? Our target audience is 15 to 17 year old or 15 to 18 year old drivers. So we're trying to get them to stay calm, remember what to do, okay? Remember your training. Remember your training. You know, like remember you, you got two one kilometer straights here. So remember to breathe and <laughs> just get some air into the brain and relax. And as James Hunt would say, have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. So, plenty to look forward to. Over six race weekends, we will see 30 races take place right here at Sepang and in Buriram, Thailand. Multiple races mean plenty of on-track experience for the rookies who will also be getting the opportunity to experience race weekends with the best of them. This Formula 4 series is held on race weekends that also feature international events such as the Touring Car Series Asia, Ferrari Challenge and Asian Le Mans. Each race is an opportunity to earn valuable championship points for the title. 25 points for first place all the way down to one point for 10th. The points all add up for an eventual championship winner. And as this is an FIA certified championship, the top drivers will all be rewarded with their first super license points as they work towards the possibility of racing in Formula One. Hi, my name is Mohammad Nalwala. I'm 17 years old and I'm from India. I'm Akash Gowda, 17 years old from India. My name is Prezi Martono. I'm 16 years old and I come from Jakarta, Indonesia. Kia ora, my name is Fain Kahir. I'm 20 and I'm from Taipei, New Zealand. I'm here to do the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship because um, it's the first time happening and I want to take racing to the next level. I always wanted to be in F1 and since Formula 4 is the starting step for it, I think, you know, I'm really looking forward for it. First championship to do, all the cars are equal. The engine is um, a 2.0 Renault, so that makes it reliable. Apart from the fact that I love cars, been racing basically my whole entire life. I now see a huge opportunity for me in the motorsport world to become a professional motorsport athlete. That's why I'm here. It's a lot exciting and you know, uh, there's so much you can do with the car. You can push it to the limit. Well, it's really different because these cars have front wing, have suspensions, while car go-karts don't have suspensions and all, you know. It's closer to home and I can 
learn just as much as if I do this championship than if I do a championship in Europe. I've been karting last year and I was the national karting champion last year. So moving next levels, of going, trying to go further and further. Now Asia, probably next to Europe. New competition, new drivers, new faces. <laughs> Good to make new friends. A brand new championship means a brand new car. And somebody who knows the F4 car inside out is Sean Thompson. Can you tell us a little bit more about the, uh, the car that we have here today? Okay, this car was developed about three years ago for, uh, for FIA and it's designed for safety for young 15 year old drivers, okay? So emphasis on safety from uh, crash, any foreign objects, I mean even when we have it, the driver sits really low, so really, really safe, okay? Mm -hmm. With the crash testing they've had, drivers have been walked away without any injuries, so extremely strong, safe car for kids. I know there are a lot of sim similarities uh, between this car and an F1 car that, that really excites young drivers when they make the step up to cars. I know there's things like paddle shift systems and, and wings. Can you, well, the, can you talk us through that? Well, the paddle shift system really it makes the, drive, the car easier for the drivers yeah. to drive. It doesn't make it any faster and it's a modern, okay, because we're trying to emulate the F1 car so we have paddle shifts. We don't have a hand clutch. So they still have to use a foot clutch. Aero, again, it's about learning at this level, learning how effective aero can help you in corners, affecting you in braking. So even though it's a, a very little value, it does have some effect. And again, they learn with their engineers and driver coaches what these things do, how changing them slightly can improve the performance of the car. So we know that this chassis is manufactured by Miguel and it's you know, as you said, one of the best ways for a Carter to begin his single-seater career. What about the engine? What, what powers this thing? This thing, uh, this is a Renault engine we've chosen here for Malaysia. We're the first championship to run the Renault engine. It has uh, no turbo on it, which is good because the fact that we try to minimize issues, minimize any kind of uh, imbalance between performance, so therefore it's 160 horsepower. It's exactly on the limit that FIA uh, permits for okay. the championship. So without a turbo, and here in Malaysia and Southeast Asia, with the like here 50 odd degrees uh, track temperature, yeah, of course, 50 it's really degrees, hot. Yeah, yeah. So therefore, there's no problem with the engine breathing. The tires for us, we have chosen the hand cooked tire because okay. it's a it's a it's a follow on from the Air Asia Cup series. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly the same tire we've used, uh, which again, again eliminating any development time. And hand cooked are the same tires use another form of four championships. Yep. So the British championship run, I think the Australian championship run is. So again, it's, a, it's again a, a, a target for everybody else for consistency. Cool, well thank you very much for that lowdown. I, I for one cannot wait to see them out on track. Hopefully it's a action packed one. Exactly. What a car, but this one's more my color. After the break, we meet a driver looking to make his mark in the championship and go behind the scenes with the engineers who will ensure these cars can be pushed to their limits. <laughs>